Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm sorry, but if the Forge can bring back the people we love, it's worth any risk. You were too weak, too selfish to destroy the Forge. Now our empire, our people, shall rise again! I mean it this time, man. When we get out of here, I'm out. I need you to respect that. This is my chance, Peter. To protect my new family. Like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. Tell me what I have to do. My family will be proud. And I will tell them of my best friend, Peter Quill. Peter, where's Drax? I just thought we had a leader who would fight for us. All of us. I ain't happy about Drax being gone, but I am happy to still be breathing. Thank you for freeing me and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. But I must go. The galaxy may need guarding, Peter, but not by us. Gamora, wait. It wasn't me who did this, Peter. It was you. Next up, is your Codex device <sighs> making you sick? A new study. Eight or nine rounds. Uh, then we find Ha. We have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. Hey, Pete. I found her. I'll see if that drink maker can pour us something stronger. We're gonna need it. We need to talk. You are the Star-Lord that's caused nothing but trouble for Allah. Are you not? I need your help. Ah. Ah. Look, I... My... My name is Baldin, son of Hala the Accuser. You've seen what my mother is capable of. The weapon she now has in her possession. You want to stop her, right? Let us work together. No more people have to die. It could be advantageous for everyone. I'm not helping you with squat until you put the gun down. Not until you put your gun down. Dude, I literally drew my gun because you had a gun on me first. That's how a standoff works. I risked my life. Risked treason to my people. I... Just so I could find you and stop my mother from destroying our... Ho, ho, ho! You guys having a party and it didn't invite me? Rocket, this is Baldin, Hala's son. He wants to help us. Wait, wait, wait. Hala's friggin' son? No, I'm not buying it. The Kree, who've been trying to kill us, need I remind you, don't just offer their help. Not to us, at least. I'm not so sure. Think he might actually want to help us. Listen, I know you were lost in his dreamy eyes. But he ain't fooling me. But you know, he's probably got valuable intel on Hala. If we knew he was telling the truth. Uh, maybe I should just go. I'm sorry that I bothered you. Whoa, 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 not so fast. You're not going anywhere, friend. Rocket? What are you- Hang tight, Pete. I'll be back in a jiff.
Mantis? Groot? Sorry that took so long. She, uh, wasn't too keen on coming back here. Mantis will be able to tell if the kid's lying or not. This is why you dragged me back? You said it was life or death. I am You Groot. just want to use my powers as some sort of lie test. Look, I rescued you from a life of imprisonment. Okay, you owe me. I suppose. This isn't just some random creed. This is Hala's son. I'm Groot? Your mother is very mean. <sighs> okay, I'll help. But I'm doing this for the galaxy, not for you. Fine. I'll ask the questions, you just tell me if he's lying or not. Oh. Are you done talking about me like I'm not here? Not that being treated like I'm invisible is anything new. Drop the attitude, man. You're already on thin ice and I can make this a whole lot worse for you. My friend Mantis here is an empath. Which means she'll know if you're lying, so... <laughs> tell the truth. Why did you come here? It is as I said before. I came here to stop my mother and save my people. The Kree have a mistaken view on superiority. If we were truly great, we would lead by example, not by force. Well, I'll be damned. I've seen it all. A pacifist Kree. Wow, look at you. Truly an original. I bet you are a real hit at Kree parties. Not particularly, no. My people, I just need new leadership. <laughs> it sounds like you've got someone in mind for the job. Oh, I had never really considered it. Well, if not you, who do you suggest take over? Deposing a leader without a successor, that's pretty risky business. Oh, um, well, maybe I could do it. I know, as long as Hala continues to lead the Kree, they will never change. And I... I can't help but feel responsible. My mother... She wasn't always like this. She used to be different. I am Groot. So tell me, what was Hala like? She was uncompromisingly strict, as a leader and a parent. It was her way or no one's way. But I thought she truly loved her people. She didn't kill like this before. I have a proposition. I am Hala's only child. If she thinks you are keeping me hostage, it would emotionally compromise her. She'll become careless. It could give you the advantage you need to defeat her, freeing the Kree from her rule. All I ask in return for my cooperation is when the time comes, you must promise to spare her life. This is mounds upon mounds of crap. He just wants to use us so he can rule the Kree himself. No deal. I've already got you. I don't need your cooperation. I know my mother may be beyond redemption, but please, for the sake of my people, reconsider. There is still a chance for them. We'll see. Don't even think about making trouble for us. Let's take a walk back to the ship, pal. He just wanted to help. What chance do you have now? Hala is armed with a devastating weapon, combined with the Forge. There's no stopping her. I am Groot. But the Guardians are broken. I don't see a world where you can actually defeat Hala. And when you were together, you all hated each other. I can't imagine a time when you didn't hate each other. It wasn't all bad, Mantis. We had plenty of good times. Come on, Groot, help me out here. Hmm. I am Groot. <gasps> what... What is it?
off me, man. I'm innocent. You got the wrong guys. Oh, you mean to tell me there's another rodent and tree duo out there? Yes. Who were scanned and ID'd by several bystanders. Yes. I am Groot. Yes, yes, we know who you are. Forget it, Groot. These bucketheads can't understand you. Don't worry. I know how to handle this. As soon as they lock us up, I'm gonna go up to the biggest, baddest dude in there and knock him out. Oh. Oh, boy. Hey! I did not know this was an animal prison, too. Or perhaps you are my meal. I am Groot. And I am Drax the Destroyer. Do not attempt to challenge me. I will tear you limb from limb or snout from tail, whichever would be more painful. I challenged you. I'm still here. That is because you cheated. You had a weapon and I did not. You take it easy. <laughs> Knock it off. All right, all right. Make room for one more. Hey, don't get too comfortable. We'll be back to take you to permanent lockup soon. Who is this loser? Call me... Star-Lord. I'm sure you've all heard of me. Especially you. Definitely not. I am Groot. Really? Him? Nice to meet you, Groot. What kind of tree are you? Spruce? Elm? I am... Groot. Yeah, you already said that. I could tell you guys are the real badasses in the room. Legendary outlaws like me. Oh. Not you. Uh. We're too good looking to stay locked up in here. What you think? The second the Nova Corps start running background checks on us, none of us are ever gonna see the sweet light of day again. I am Groot. And I'm still Star-Lord. Look, so here's the deal. We're breaking out of here. I'm not going anywhere with any of you. Settle down in there. All of you. I will not settle. No prison can contain me. I'll go gladly if this giant ass won't be there. My ass is the correct proportion for my body. It is 100% pure muscle. I am Groot. I'm sorry. Do you want to go to prison? I am already in a prison. But perhaps you are right, Mustache Man. I just came up with a brilliant plan that's totally original. I'm calling Can't it... Wait to hear this. The Great Escape. You see that guard there? He's the only one with the key card to get us out of here. But there's no way we can get to it. So we gotta escape another way. There's a force field all around us, but not mm. below us. And that's where you come in, Muscle Man. Hmm. I agree to this nickname. You are gonna use those beefy mitts of yours to dig us a tunnel to the other side of the force field. Beefy mitts? We don't have anywhere to hide all the debris, so this tree... Well, we're gonna have to eat it all. And once we're over there, that's where you come in, gadget guy. Uh-huh. You're little and adorable, so you're the perfect distraction. Say that again. You rooks? <gasps> I'm not gonna lie. A couple of you might die. But know that I will never forget you. Or... We could just use the keycard. I love this tree. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friend- Escape! You were going to say escape. Friendship. I was going to say friendship, but escape will do. I... 
I was wrong about you guys. There's a reason you all ended up together. I never knew. You're not a team, or a family, or friends in the conventional sense. We've all forgotten how much we need each other. But we can still be like that again. We're the guardians of the galaxy. It's time we start acting like it. And let's go get them back. I am Groot! I am Groot! Nice of you three to show up. Okay. Just gotta find Gamora. It's anyone's guess where she is. She's still an assassin. She'll know where to go if she don't want to be found. Mantis, you were able to track down the shrine using your abilities. Do you think you could find one of us too? I can usually only sense someone who is nearby. But I may be able to extend my range with your help. I am Groot. I have an idea! What? You're going to love it! minds. This is inside my mind. It seems kind of empty. I've never shared this with anyone before. And you didn't die or anything. This is amazing. I wasn't sure it would work, but it did. Merging minds, huh? This is getting a little intimate, Mantis. We have to get close so that my mind can see far. This island here represents your subconscious mind, Peter. And those other islands represent your friends. Gamora could be anywhere in the galaxy by now. In order to find her, we'll need to build a bridge. Uh... Bridge? Yes. A bridge of feelings. I won't be able to do it myself. I'll need your help. <sighs> okay. Let's get this party started. It'll be fun. If we can reach your friends' islands, we'll learn where they are. Now, I need you to concentrate very hard. When you think about the Guardians, what emotions do you feel the strongest? Oh, what the hell was that? On this plane, emotions are able to take physical form. Those are memories that you can connect to with your feelings. If we focus on your emotional relationships with the rest of your team, they will be easier to find. Hmm. I can get her back, Pete, if we charge the forge. We can revive Lila. I can get her back, we charge the forge. We can revive life. This is my chance, Peter, to protect my new family. That's curious. Your bond with Drax is very strong. But I don't understand. You, you can sense Drax, but Drax is dead. I can't explain it. But I can certainly feel his presence through your emotions. I can get her back, Pete. If we charge the forge, we can revive Lila. I can get her back, Pete. If we charge the forge, we can revive Lila. You're the one who 
Nothing's gonna keep us from falling apart. You're doing well, Peter. I'm beginning to sense Gamora. You've told me how you feel about the Guardians. That's good. But in order to find your friends, I'll need more. How do you think your friends feel about being Guardians? We're gonna sell Thanos' body! We all stay. Honestly, we all stay because of you, Peter. This is my hour of honor. My sweet wife and daughter have finally been avenged. This is very unsettling, but please keep trying. You're doing great. I didn't think I was actually capable of feeling this many emotions. I'm so... deep. Let's just try once more. You and the Guardians have had so many amazing adventures. How would you describe your... Happiest moment with them. I think that's enough. If you explore all these memories, we should have what we need to build our bridges. I... Hey, I was surrounded by adoring fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty. It seems you have many cheerful emotions towards Rocket. is somehow still out there, your feelings can lead us to him. I still can't believe we did it. Thanos is gone. You must be very close to Gamora. You've shown many positive emotions for her.
This is... What the hell does this mean, Mantis? It means Drax is alive! And it means you left him for dead. Poor Drax! He must be so lonely! Oh no. Drax! Oh god, I feel terrible. We all thought Drax was dead. We may have assumed too quickly. Oops. The others will be so excited that he's still alive. His sacrifice caused so much turmoil. Hopefully this will repair what was broken in your team. Okay, we know where Drax is. But we're not done here. Keep looking. sense. Rocket's been here the whole time. In spite of everything you've been through, Rocket cares about you a great deal. He must really value your friendship to remain at your side. I always thought I drove him crazy. He's always so cranky when I'm around. Friendships are complicated, especially when emotional vulnerability goes against your outward personality. I'm sure what he says and what he feels are very different. So we found Rocket. What now? There are other bridges that you've built. You should see what's on the other side. been here. This is Thanos' training room from Gamora's memory. Gamora hated her father. Why would she go back? We all created the Guardians because none of us had anywhere else to go. This is the only place Gamora could think to return to. She might have unresolved feelings attached to this place. Rocket stayed with us. So that island will probably show us the Milano. I'm proud of you, Peter. You did well connecting with your emotions. I know it couldn't have been easy. For someone such as yourself. Not everyone can connect with people as easily as I can. Surprising people is my specialty. Yes, and you are certainly full of surprises. So, guess we just have to pick them up. Who should we get first? We'll grab Gamora first, then Drax. Let's go! Don't you think Gam's gonna be a little pissed at you? And what are you gonna say? Nah, I'm sure I'll think of something in a moment. Word of advice, Pete? Think harder. Gamora? You've got some nerve, following me here of all places. I told you I was done. I'm not in a very charitable mood, Peter. Leave, or I'll make you leave. Or are you here to fight? <laughs> I won't go easy on you. Whoa, whoa, there is no need for violence here, okay? Let's just... let's just talk it out. I've said enough! 